Hello everyone, this is Joe for Soft Corners here, and for today's video I have what should be a pretty quick video. I know anybody who watches my channel knows when I say that, that probably doesn't mean a whole lot, so we'll see how it goes, but um, today I just have five cards I'm going to show off. Uh, these came from ComC, um, from Check Out My Cards, and uh, these are all from the 53 top set and were some ones that I just had picked up and um, really just wanted to um, I mean their shipping's pretty much back to normal uh, I got them in like a week and a half or so I believe um, and that's just with the economy shipping so for five dollars I figured these five cards um, Usually I wait till I have a little bit more, but I just wanted to get them and get them in my binder with 53 tops so I could, you know, just have them all together and um, maybe do a flip through of that and really want to do maybe some content where I just um, talk about, go through maybe card by card or a couple cards at a time and talk about them and show them off more. But um, anyway, so we'll start, uh, three of these are Hall of Famers and one of them is um, for me, a really big pickup, um, considering, um, well, I'll just show you, uh, it's just a card you wouldn't necessarily think is that, um, hard to get, but, uh, first, so I have two non-Hall of Famers. This is the Ben Wade from the Brooklyn Dodgers. This one's in really nice shape. Sorry, I should have arranged these beforehand. Um, uh, next, let's see, we have this one's a high number. Uh, this is card 247. This is Mike Sandlock. So, sorry, <clears throat> Mike Sandlock. So, most of what I have, I believe I'm down to 38 cards. And I mean, the two biggies are the Mantle and um, Satchel Page. And then. I believe only two Hall of Famers after that, and then the majority of everything else are short prints, um, which are cards 220 and higher. So, to me, these are pretty tough. Um, actually, besides those two big cards I, I mentioned, the next biggest one, um, even bigger than the Hall of Famers, is the uh, Jim Gilliam rookie, which is a high number. So, So my first of the three Hall of Famers I picked up. Um, for any of the Hall of Famers in this set, in case anybody's looking to pick any up, um, this guy's probably the most affordable. Um, it's the George Kell. Off the top of my head, um, um, either him or Hoyt Wilhelm. Um, the Red Shandienst. They're all about the same. I mean, you could probably easily pick a copy up for around ten dollars ten fifteen dollars depending on condition i mean obviously if you want a better condition a little bit higher but something similar to this I mean, this one obviously has some back damage here but um like i said if you just want a hall of famer from this set he's maybe not the lowest but definitely in that lower tier of you know price Next one's the Phil Rizzuto. Um, this is one of the ones I, I'm sure somebody can hear my dog in the background, so I apologize, but um, this is one, um, at first I thought I picked it up at the National and realized I didn't. Um, I kinda, just because of the names and the initials being pretty much the same, I always, kind of confuse some of the cards of him and Pee Wee Reese so um but this one overall I mean definitely the corners are all rounded and um there's some sort of red mark I don't know if that's maybe from another
another card, the red Romanoff, or don't know for sure, but and some surface issues, but all overall, not really any creases, and a really nice one here. So lastly, this is <clears throat> a card at first I kind of kept overlooking and at first I kind of almost forgot he was in the set just because he's a high number and um, don't see it pop up very often at all. Um, so like I said, as I was picking more and more up and trying to especially to grab some of the Hall of Famers, I kind of just almost forgot about this one or just kept putting it off. and. Um, this one definitely has some heavy creasing on it, but um, this is a card of for so mainstream. Well, he doesn't have any Bowman cards, and um, only has two tops cards. So as far as I know, between like mainstream sets, I think only has three cards. So his forty-eight, forty-nine Leaf rookie card is for anybody who's collecting Hall of Fame rookie cards is definitely one that. Is very very hard to get um, but even so I feel like just this few sets he was in he was in this set like I said the his leaf rookie and then um, was also in 55 tops so I think just the scarcity of the rookie um, and the low number of sets he's in just pushes the value of everything else up and especially being that this is a high number so this is the Hal Neuhauser It's a really great shot, one of the few action shots in the set. Um, <laughs> off the top of my head, not, definitely the Willie Mays, you know, anything besides just the portrait shot. Um, well, there the, the Mike Sandlock, Sandlock is kind of a little bit like that. Um, But overall, not a whole lot of action shots, so that's really nice. Nice big Tigers logo there, and like I said, definitely, you know, you can see the heavy creasing, big three or four heavy creases across there and around the corners. But um, I saw this one pop up and check out my cards, and um, I had to get it right away just because normally this card in almost any condition. Usually when I search it on eBay, there might only be one or two that come up at all that are for sale at any given time. And when they are, they're usually around at least $100. So definitely got this one for like a third of that. So um, as soon as I saw it pop up, didn't want to hesitate because I just didn't want to miss out on it. So really happy to pick that one up. I said that's definitely one of the tougher high numbers just um the satchel page is a high number so i mean obviously that's a huge one and then also willie mays um besides those two this is the only other um hall of famer so in the high numbers so um so there it is uh five pickups for the set including three hall of famers really really happy to get these in Really nice seeing them all together here, and um, I said definitely going to try and do some more content in the future with this set because it is by far probably the most favorite thing overall in my collection. And um, I said down to 38 cards I need, so I'm going to do my best to really try and focus in and narrow that down. Like I said, with a lot of the high numbers, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but. Um, really try and narrow that down a little bit this year and um, make some progress on that but <clears throat> so for now uh thanks everyone for watching thank you for all your su continued support and um just remember any card can be a great looking card even if it has four soft corners thank you